right, here comes Hockley with the, the call, the initial call. The ball was illegally touched, but it was also, re and it was then recovered by the kicking team. However, there was a holding by the receiving team number 57. That penalty will be enforced from the previous spot. That will replay fourth down. By the receiving team well, or by he, the he kicking team? He said originally team? the kicking, then he said the receiving team. I think he's going to have to redo that announcement. I, I think so, too. Because originally the call was holding on the kicking team, then it's holding on the receiving team. The illegal touch after the ball passed Ginn. New England is challenging the ruling on the field that the ball was not touched, and therefore that the recovery was illegal. If the ball was touched by the receiving team, it would be a legal recovery by New England down there. The ruling on the field stands as called. However, <laughs> please, ladies and gentlemen, however, the force of the ball legally recovered by New England because the ball was not touched by San Francisco. There will be a 10 yard penalty against the receiving team at that spot in San Francisco to keep the ball fixed. Video and more. Go to NFL.com slash mobile today. The pass was incomplete. The ball, before the ball was, the pass was completed, the ball was being touched by the defender who was out of bounds. Uh -huh. Therefore, the loose ball before the completion was touching a player who was out of bounds. So they... Therefore, by rule, that's an incomplete pass. Whoa. No they, time out their charge. They deem and the ball, the ball as being it is. moved when he doesn't have, remember, full control and possession through the catch because Shepard is touching it and out of bounds. They're all out of bounds. Well, I didn't even think of that part, talking about Shepard, and you're going to see his feet or his left foot go out of bounds. With the score tied, and at the end of regulation, we'll go into overtime. There are special overtime rules in the playoffs. Both teams get an opportunity to possess the football with one exception. That one exception is that a touchdown always wins the game. So if the team that gets the opening kickoff scores a touchdown on their first possession, the game is over at that point. If the team that first gets the ball kicks a field goal, the other team will have an opportunity to possess the football, and then we are essentially in sudden death. If the first team that gets the football does not score, we will go into sudden death. The second team will then have the opportunity to possess the ball, and the first team to score, even if it's just by three points, will win. Timing rules are the f as if we're starting a new game. Uh, we will use regular timing rules. And replay, all replay will be conducted from the booth. The coaches do not have challenges. New York, it's your uh, call. What's your call? On the prior play, my flag was being returned to me. It was tossed back to me at the ground. When that happened, the clock operator thought there was a penalty and stopped the clock. The clock should have continued to run. There should be 12 seconds taken off the clock. So it should be 124. Take the play clock down 12 seconds as well. To reverse and replay, there must be clear, uncontroverted, uncontroverted evidence that the ruling on the field was wrong. In other words, we have to be certain. Here, the ruling on the field stands. It is a touchdown. Yeah. The unfortunate conduct penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Ed Hawkins. There were two fouls by the defense. Offense. That. Uh, correct. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he's a lawyer. <laughs> Offside defense. That penalty is declined. There's also personal foul face mask. That penalty is enforced half the distance to the goal. First down.